the tech is jumping now. Wow, it's doing like a mountain. Wow, it's doing take for the video. Take for the video, look at the mountain. Wow, for YouTube. Good to take. Go on, Mimo. Go, go, go. Now then, let's bring you up to date with the Europa League uh, ties at Cape Town. Just before 6 o'clock at 5.55 to be precise. Uh, one of those matches involves uh, Tottenham. They're up against that uh, last. And for Greece, Moanda's watching it for us. Fabrice, what, what can you say about Last time I've been uh, very attacking mind you know, they've caused problems with the course played a lot of problems so far, you know, they've, they've had the bar so far, you know, and they've told them to move their, their, their defending shape, but Spurs need to pick up the performance so far, the men will be very disappointed with the way that the team playing, you know, there's been a lack of passing, a lack, lack of collision as, as a team, and I think they've never to do it from now on to, to half time, we, we will have a lot of work, work with other players. Okay, Fabrice, back with you in a second in Group G. I think it's the same scoreline. Uh, Spurs, I, I beg your pardon, Leicester are in Ukraine. They're up against Zona Luhansk and Andrew King. They've been thrown out for us. Is it still goals with you, Andy? Yeah, it's still no motion. Um, the game's flattened out. Very seven on the side. It's a really bright one. He's suddenly looks like a danger now. He's getting into little pockets and turning. And he's got a shot over from... Just outside the box, so maybe we should have gone a little bit better with. Um, Kenny Zimba has been coming into the game a little bit for Leicester. He's had a couple of lively runs and, and trying to cut in off that right hand side um, and make something happen for Leicester, but it's pretty stale at the moment, so hopefully something will, will pick up in the next uh, 25 minutes. Andy, thanks for that. If you've just switched on tonight and you're a Celtic fan and you're worried about the match in Milan against AC Milan, don't be. Here's Andy Walker. Why would you worry about going to Milan on the back of the Celtic pieces of game? Ah, you fucker! Uh, well, Why? Right. The greatest performance for Celtic in the game in 45 minutes. The beats are up two weeks to the beat. Uh, the Cubs have had another couple of goals. This is the first time we've seen this in Milan dangerous. The Cubs have had a free kick on the, the edge of the box. And Cajanoglu has taken it and has scored. Yeah, uh, right over the wall. So Milan showing that they're not prepared to to sit back, so it's 2-1 now, Calvin Oglu, just a free kick, maybe, what, 20 yards from goal, Jim, and he's put it over the wall, hoping Celtic might uh, keep that two goal advantage for a bit longer, so it's been one there. It is indeed, Andy, oh, I've just seen it, yeah, the goalkeeper could do next to nothing about it, Andy, could he? Amazing. So 2 1 now, Celtic in Milan. And of course, you can keep right across it. Uh, there's the results at the bottom of the screen tonight uh, via our video printer. So keep a check on them because some pretty meaningful games tonight taking place. It's now Milan 1, Celtic 2. Wayne Ray has reiterated his desire to become Derby's full time manager as the club waits for the takeover to go through. Other names have been linked with the top job, including Aston Villa assistant John Terry. I think there's no uncertainty in the event of the club, it'd be, um, that's what everyone wants, but again, we have to wait for this to go through, 